we look at the current situation and many people have always looked at Africa as a continent that seeks favors. I'm hopefully addressing today a group of people who I want to see as partners taking advantage of the opportunities that exist. Theresa May was on the continent a few weeks ago. And one of the most impressive things of that trip, it was not a trip of a development partner coming to see how she can help the continent. She came this time as a partner, seeking to see how the United Kingdom could partner with us and our countries to increase, expand investment opportunities for British companies, while at the same time helping us deal and resolve some of the problems that we have not necessarily through handouts, but through these economic opportunities that exist. The continent does not have the resources it requires to meet all the SDGs. We would love to be able to focus on the areas that are non-economic. But everything from health, to roads and infrastructure, to power, all these are opportunities that are available. You ask yourselves, why now? Why now? Because Africa is changing. Africa of 2018 is not the same Africa of less than 20 years ago. Africa is reforming. Africa is beginning to resolve their problems through dialogue and events of war or clashes are slowly coming to an end. Africa is democratizing. Africa is recognizing the role of private sector. Africa is doing what it needs to do in order to improve the business environment. So I know you have four pillars in your, in the, from an economic and social perspective on your agenda, housing, food security, universal health care, and manufacturing. And um, when I look at it, I mean, there's so much room for partnership between Kenyans and Canadians. And, uh, you know, if we want to, you know, do the right thing and, uh, and implement the Agenda 2030. And if we want to ensure growth in both countries, in Kenya and in Canada, this partnership is very precious. And I can tell you from the Canadian side, we're excited. I just let me brag for 30 seconds before I ask uh, uh, Michael to uh, Fairfax Canada, uh, Fairfax Africa, which is a Canadian listed company. 